this is a sad moment for kubernetes users the legendary project ingress nginx the entry point for like billions of request is being retired kubernetes sig network and the security response team committee have officially announced that the best maintenance will continue only till march 2026 after that no releases no upgrades no bug fixes no security patches ingress nginx so whenever within a kubernetes cluster a person or a user wants to communicate through your application so your application runs as a pod then you create a service and then you create an ingress resource by installing the kubernetes nginx ingress controller and creating the ingress resource now this ingress nginx was built very early on in the kubernetes history it became very flexible complex and now the unmanageable technical debt has hit and the lack of maintainers which is very sad which is which also gives a clear signal on the health of open source ecosystem and the pressure on the maintainers a few things no need to panic because your existing workloads will keep working so whenever a user that wants to communicate with your application they communicate via the ingress objects but you must start planning the migration today and what are the options one of the key things that kubernetes community has done is the gateway API. i have a few resources on kube simplify where i have done like for the kubernetes course which is there or the devops project they already use gateway api like i have been using gateway api for quite some time but a lot of people are using the ingress nginx the other thing is using other ingress controllers like ha proxy traffic i like traffic a lot uh, so traffic is a good one you can go and start using traffic or continue using what you are but at your own risk because there will be no cve patch updates although suse has announced that for their customers they'll provide continue bug fixes and stuff for i think 2 years and i think rke had ingress nginx by default but they'll switch to traffic as well i think k3s already comes with traffic bundled so that should be easy if you are using those distributions interestingly last year the ingress nginx maintainers announced uh, to wind down the ingress nginx plan so that was already there like it was coming but that was because they wanted to develop a replacement controller along with the gateway api community and uh, even that failed to generate you know interest to develop the ingate so basically the ingate project development never progressed and that will also be retired in today's video what i'll show you is now you already know the state that it is going to be retired so either go ahead and use whatever you want to use or start migrating towards gateway api now the thing is there can be a lot of annotations and you know it might not be a drop in replacement but there is a tool which is there which is ingress to gateway so this converts an ingress resource to gateway api resources this is pretty cool pretty dope so let's try to see everything in action and whatever i'll show you can actually try it out so we'll go to killer coda kubernetes playground and we'll try to run a sample workload create an ingress using the ingress nginx and then switch to gateway api so you can start small start with that and see how stuff works kube cdl get nodes you can see the two node cluster is up and running let's first install the ingress nginx so helm upgrade install ingress nginx the repository in the namespace so you can see the release is deployed kube cdl get pods hyphen a and you can see the ingress nginx controller which is running 
So what usually happens is we first have a Kubernetes cluster. We then create or install the Ingress Nginx controller. Now we create a workload. So kubectl create deployment demo port 80. Now we expose the deployment kubectl expose deployment demo. So kubectl get pods. You can see the demo pod is up and running. kubectl get SVC. You can see the service up and running. And now we create an ingress. So simple command is kubectl create ingress demo ingress class is nginx and rule is slash. So I want to like accept all the traffic that is coming in and it should go to demo port 80. And if you want, you can also see kubectl get ing hyphen o yaml. So simple ingress. So API version, networking gates, IOV1, ingress, metadata with name and namespace, uh, ingress class name nginx, in the rules, HTTP path, backend service, name is demo, path is slash, path type is exact. So that's what it is. kubectl get svc hyphen a. In order to access this, what we'll use is we'll use this particular IP 30399. In clear coda, you go to the hamburger menu, go to traffic and ports. and access it, it works. So this is the flow for ingress. Now what we are going to do is, we'll install the latest release of ingress to gateway. So you can simply install that using the releases page, go to the releases page and download the binary. That's what we are going to do, wget downloading the particular binary. So if I do ls, I have this and tar hyphen xvf chmod plus x ingress and dot slash ingress to gateway. So you can see, you can directly do that. What we need to actually do is ingress to gateway print providers ingress nginx. What it does is it creates gateway and HTTP root. So yes, it has the concept. So if, even if you go to gateway API, you'll be able to see the design principles, which is resource oriented and stuff. And if I go to the documentation, you can see it's an official project focused on L4, L7 routing. And these are the things. So you create a gateway class. So when, when I will install the gateway controller, it will have the gateway class, then the operators will create a gateway and the developers will be creating these HTTP root, which is why for a particular ingress, so it's, it's more modular kind of approach over here and persona based, which is why you see in color coda for one ingress, you have a gateway and then you have a HTTP root, which is there. So what we need to do now is install the gateway API components. So we'll do that. Kubectl install, installing the standard CRDs. And now we are installing the Nginx gateway fabric. It is deployed. Kubectl get pods hyphen A. You can see it's running. And kubectl get SVC hyphen A. You can see the service as well. Now what we need to do is Let's put this into a file. So we have a migration.yaml. It's the exact same file. kubectl apply hyphen f migration. So we have this kubectl get pods. kubectl, you can see there's a new pod that comes up. So this is the actual worker pod that is there whenever you create a gateway. So when you create a gateway, the fabric, which is the controller for the gateway, will create a data plane kind of pod for the gateway that you create. And you have the kubectl get gateway. You have kubectl get HTTP route. 
you'll also have kubectl get svc a new service got created and this is 31842 now let's try to access that and you can see it works so this is how you can actually start migrating your stuff from nginx ingress to the gateway api and you can use the ingress to gateway official tool which is there in the kubernetes ecosystem so i think over the years ingress nginx has provided a lot of benefits to the customers and the users it's time to say goodbye to that and see what's ahead of us to choose whatever we can. So my recommendation definitely is Gateway API. I don't know if there would be any corner cases where this to Gateway might not work as it is. But for the basic scenarios, it can be a drop in the replacement that you can start working on. Or you can start looking at some of the other controllers like traffic etc so if you like the video and if you like the demo i'll put all the commands in a github gist and put that in the description of the video uh, make sure to follow cube simplify hit that bell icon subscribe to the youtube channel share it with your friends and do let me know your thoughts on what do you think about this retirement for ingress nginx and are you already using gateway api or exploring that or any other thing love to know more thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video